Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I'm going to be doing my bookshelf tour because now I can film in front of my bookshelf so I rearranged my room and I'm so, so happy. Bookshelf is not too extensive. Most of my books are on my Kindle and plus I've downsized from the books that I have read up until I got my Kindle. So I was thinking about maybe doing a physical bookshelf tour and then a Kindle bookshelf tour but there's over including samples on my Kindle. There's like over 800 books on there, so we don't need to go through those. I might pick and choose some of my favorites for my Kindle and share them with you, but for now I'm just going to do my physical books. So let's just, not even dilly-dally, let's just get right into it. Into it. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, I want to do just a quick overview. So up there, which I'm probably not going to show you in this video, but just a bunch of knickknacks that I own. And then I have my first red shelf, my second red shelf, my first TBR shelf, my second TBR shelf, and then at the very bottom there is a uh, shelf of the TBR I'm reading right now and the ones I plan to read next month, as well as a junk shelf full of magazines and yearbooks and stuff like that. So let's just start with the first shelf. Okay, the first set of books are my Harry Potter books, and that starts with Prisoner of Azkaban. And then we have, then we have Goblet of Fire and The Deathly Hollows. Next, I have my Sweep books that I bought. I bought these because I read them at my school library. And there was another girl who was reading them at the same time I was, and she wasn't quite as fast, so I went ahead and bought the number seven. And, I bought number seven and eight, and that is The Calling and Changeling. And then I have Blood and Chocolate by Annette Curtis Claus, and this book is so good. It's about werewolves. I recommend you check it out. It's young adult. My Vampire Kisses novels, which starts Vampire Kisses. It's well loved, obviously. Then I have the third one, because the second one, the spine was torn off, so... I mean, the spine was horrible, so I had to throw it away. So I have the third book, which is Vampireville. The fourth book... Oh! Where's the fourth one? This is harder than it looks. Okay. Come on, Harry. Oh, I feel the other Vampire Kisses book. Uh, oh, I found it. I knew I had it. I have this paperback copy of Dance with a Vampire, which is number four. Then I have the fourth one, which is Dance with a Vampire, and I didn't used to keep my dust jackets, so that's why I don't have them. The Coffin Club, which is number five. The number six is Royal Blood. And number seven, which is Love Bites. And there is an eighth one in this series the eighth and final one but i don't own that yet and i don't know if i will get it i'm not sure of my copy of the last song which is my favorite nicholas sparks book that i've read so far and yeah i have the movie cover oh and move the tripod okay just keep swimming just keep swimming 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 okay then we're coming to my Stephanie Mayer collection. That includes The Host, um, my first edition of Twilight, which doesn't have a cover, which is pretty horrible, but you know, friends and books don't mix always. Then I have my collector's edition of Twilight, right here with the red ribbon. And I have New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Then I have my classics shelf. I have my leather bind up of Edgar Allan Poe's Poems and Complete Tales. The Essential Tales and Poems, it's a Barnes and Noble classic by Edgar Allan Poe. I have The Pride and the Prejudice by Jane Austen. Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. I also have The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain. My favorite classic, which is The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. Now we're moving on to my nonfiction, which starts with Art and Fear, The Observations on the Pharrells and Rewards of Art Making by David Bales and Ted Orland, and this is just about 
how people view their art and what stops them from creating art and the rewards for making art and just a whole bunch of amazing things about art and I really like it. If you like art of any kind, I or if you create art of any kind, I recommend you check it out. It's very interesting. My three new, um, not new adult, my three nonfiction books that I own, which is Into the Wild by John Craker, A School for My Village by Twigsy Jackson Kerger with Susan Urbank Lineville, and Wild by Cheryl Strayed. 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 Okay. All right, and that completes my first red shelf. Let's move on to the next shelf, which is red as well. <laughs> All right, next is my continuation of the books I've read. These are the ones I've read previously, as well as the ones I've read since I started BookTube. This is probably my favorite shelf, or one of my favorites. I have Perfect Chemistry by Simone Eccles, Rules of Attraction, which is the sequel or a uh, companion novel to Perfect Chemistry, and also Leaving Paradise by Simone Eccles. I like Simone Eccles if you can't tell. Then I have my Mortal Instruments series. I have City of Bones. I have City of Ashes somewhere, just I can't find it. I have City of Glass and City of Fallen Angels. It doesn't have a dust jacket, of course. Then I have my copy of Insurgent by Veronica Roth. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Origin by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, which is the first book in the Percy Jackson series. The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. I have Pushing the Limits and Dare You To by Katie McGarry which are great books. I recommend you check them out if you like contemporary books. Then we move into the books that I've read this month. I have Anna Dressed in Blood by Kendar Blake. I have the first volume of the Sweep series by Kate Turner. The Monst Monster Mologist by Rick Yancey. I loved this book. Probably my favorite of the month so far. Then I have Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan. I have Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve T. April T. And then last on this shelf I have Undeclared by Jen Frederick, which I just finished and it was pretty good. <sighs> okay, so that is my second red shelf. Let's move on to the TBR shelves. Alright, so this is my TBR shelf. Oh, there's quite a bit on this shelf, so... I'm just going to go super quickly because most of it's pretty popular. I have A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. Out of Easy by Ruby Septis. The next two books in the Percy Jackson series, which is Battle of the Labyrinth and The Last Olympian. Die for Me by Amy Plum. I have Ruby Red by Kristen Gere. Fateful by Claudia Gray. That's super shiny. The Goddess Test by Amy Carter. Grave Mercy by... Robin Lefevers, Shine by Lauren Miracle, Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss, The Den of Shadows Quartet by Amalia Atwater Rhodes, Hemlock Grove by Brian McGreevy, Grevy, For Darkness Shows the Stars by Diana Peterfruit, Darkness Before Dawn by J.A. Landon, Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins, down London Road by Samantha Young. This is the companion novel to On Dublin Street by Samantha Young. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. I have read all the books in the series, but I want to reread them, so I am putting them on the shelf. Graceling by Kristen Cashore. Starcrossed by Josephine Angelini. Josephine Angelini? Josephine? Oh, alright. Angel Fall by Susan E. I'm halfway done with this book, and... I plan on finishing it sometime, I don't know. Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. Sweet Perel by Wendy Higgins, and this is the second book to Sweet Evil. Shatter Me by Tahara Muffy. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. I have the first three books in the Demon Trappers series, which is Demon Trapper's Daughter, Soul Thief, and Forgiven by Jana Oliver. The Mortal Rules by Julie Kawaga. 
Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, and The Poison Princess by Crisley Cole, which is the first book in the Arcanian Chronicles. Alright guys, we're on my next TBR shelf. Yeah, this is just a continuation of the books I have bought and haven't read yet, so let's just really quickly go through them. The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. Most of these are in my... actually all of them except for one was in my October book haul. I have Fangirl by Rainbow Royale. Rowell. This is a book that I just bought. Lauren Kate's new book, Teardrop. And it's autographed, obviously, as you can see. As you can see by the sticker, the annoying sticker that I'll probably get taken off, but signed right there. Breathe by Sarah Crossan. Anti Goddess by Kendar Blake. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGinnins. Wings of Aryan by. Devra Wells Walls Until November by Aurora Rhodes Reynolds Worth the Fight by V. Keeland Wait for You by Jennifer L. Armentrout Sweep Bind Up Number Three by Kate Turnin and two Gina Showalter books Beauty Awakened and The Darkest Night. Okay, this shelf is my shelf for the TBR that I plan on reading. This is just a couple of books I picked out that I wanted to read, as well as my October TBR in the beginning. So for the October TBR, the ones that I haven't read yet, I have Coldest Girl in Cold Town, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lonnie Taylor, The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. These are the ones that I plan to read maybe next month. I don't know, I picked them out because I was wanting to read some books, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try to read them this month even though there's not that long left, or if they're going to be next month's TBR. I don't know. We'll see, but I'll just go through them really quickly. We have, of course, Never Fade by Alexandra Bracken. Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. Cinder by Melissa Meyer. Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Royale. The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. Sweet Bind Up Number 2 by Kate Turnin. And Wicked Nights by Gina Showalter. This is the first book in the Angels of Dark series. And then on the rest of the shelf, we just have a couple of my, well, we have the book end, which is this thing, and it says, live like there's no tomorrow, Cinderella, and my mom found it and gave it to me for my birthday. Back there, we have a picture that I took of Dana Point in California. Uh, then I have a couple of bookmarks right here, just, I only have, I have four bookmarks, so... That's the ones I'm not using currently. I have this um, Dauntless page clip that I got at Target the other day, as well as these stickers and magnets that I got at Target. And then I have a Pocahontas book that was inscribed to me. I used it for a tag video, and I haven't put it up yet. I have my Kindle case, my traveling case, and just some receipts and stuff right there. And the last shelf on my bookshelf <laughs> is this shelf and it has just a bunch of magazines and paperwork and stuff that I don't have really room to put in my room and I have a Bible down there and a journal and some other journals. I have yearbooks and wallets and a Beatles book, a Picasso book, a Lauren Conrad book, and a digital photography book. That was my textbook. Yeah, so that is my bookshelf. I can just pan over it one more time. I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!